What's the good word, y'all? It's your boy DKB here. So our New York Jets are fielding trade calls for Tristan Colon, of all people, at least of what we know so far. Um, a guy that's probably going to be one of the last to get cut. If these rumors are true, just to see if they can finally uh, or, or actually work out a deal. I don't want to say finally. Um, interesting that it's regarding Tristan Colon, a guy that's a bit more of a natural center, has been able to go out there and play some guard. Um, he's been the forgotten man for this New York Jets on the offensive line. We signed Wes Schweitzer. We got Connor McGovern back on a ridiculously cheap deal. Um, and then we know what we have in AVT. We know what Lakin Tomlinson should realistically look like for the New York Jets. Um, and then you have the interesting pick in Joe Tipman, who's definitely a natural center as well. But he does so many good things when it comes to the athletic side of stuff, being able to pull, being able to reach the second level, um, being able to go out there and, and become the lead blocker on, you know, jet sweeps, um, that you can see him coming in as, uh, you know, a guard in an emergency case, uh, or maybe as one of the main backups, right? At least until he can find a way to earn the center job from uh, Connor McGovern. So it did leave Tristan Colon on the outside looking in, spent a lot of time with the third string unit. So this isn't a guy that really is going to be heavily considered to be on this 53-man roster uh, the way that I see it, right? And I think the contract that we gave him spoke things as well. Um, you know, he got just over a million four hundred k something like that for us. Um, 250k guaranteed. So there was nothing other than just a fair shot of trying to make this roster. He's supposed to come in and be one of the more violent guys to give us a little bit more nasty uh, on the offensive line didn't really mature and turn into anything. So uh, I say it's interesting to hear that uh, we're filling trade calls for him just because generally most teams in the NFL are going to have their center position locked up. I mean, uh, the New York Jets have been luckier than most between Kevin Mawai and Nick Mangold uh, having, you know, somewhere in a range of 20 years to lock down the center position. And then we had a couple years where we really had no idea what we were doing at that position, right? So, um Tristan Colon is definitely uh, a luxury for us as an emergency center option, but if we can trade, uh, get a trade in for him, it's going to be a late day three pick, right? Ideally, I envision this being what the Denzel Mims trade was supposed to be. We'll probably see a conditional pick um, in the sixth or seventh round range um, by a team that's lower in the waiver wire order, right? Um, and off the top of my head, I'm not sure who those guys actually are. Um, I know the reverse order, the standings from last year is supposed to be the reverse order. So, um, meaning the Chiefs, I believe, would be 32, the Eagles would be 31, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, whoever's in that later portion in terms of playoff caliber teams and, you know, guys just on the cusp, um, this is who we would ideally be fielding trade calls from. So, we'll see if that ultimately becomes anything uh, between, you know, now and when you guys see this, it'll be about um six hours or so uh but it'll be a uh it'll be a hell of a move for the new york jets matter of fact it's rare that you sign a free agent um and you can turn around and flip him for draft compensation right away while not taking a crazy cap hit of any kind so actually it'll be pretty impressive if joe douglas can turn him into anything if not it is what it is we took a gamble it didn't pay off but we're happy with the results uh for the other shots that we did take on the offensive line so let me know what your guys' thoughts are tristan clone seems like an obvious trade to me if we can make it happen um and i'll catch you guys again peace